Hi guys, it's me Teacher Gon. In our today's video, ang gagawin naman natin is solving quadratic inequality part 2. By the way, before nyo sana puntahan ito or panoorin itong video na to is I hope na mapanood nyo yung part 1 natin because I have presented the way on how to do it. Pero kaya lang ako gumagawa ng, palawang, ng part 2 natin para mas mapalalim pa natin yung understanding natin about quadratic inequalities. So without further ado, let's start solving quadratic inequality. So we have your problem. Solve x squared minus x minus 6 is greater than 0. So the first step in doing this is for you to convert the given inequality into a quadratic equation. So ang gagawin nyo na naman is you need to change this symbol to an equal sign. So going to show equal sign. And then copy the all, all the terms of the quadratic inequality. You have x squared minus x minus 6 is equal to 0. So as you can see, it is now an example of quadratic equation. Ang next step natin is to factor out the given equation and eventually solve for the values of x. So the factors are Let's have x minus 3, then x plus 2 is equal to 0. I hope na tama yung aking pagka-factor. Again, the factors are x minus 6, sorry, x minus 3 times x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, after this, we need to equate each factor by 0. We have x minus 3 is equal to 0. You also have x plus 2 is equal to 0. Solving this equation, your x is equal to positive 3 or 3. And then the other one, it will be negative 2. So we have here the values of x as 3 and negative 2. So hindi pa tayo tapos. Ito ay mag-serve lang bilang critical value natin. Okay? So... In continuing this kind of problem, ang gagawin naman natin ngayon is we need to draw a number line. So again, the critical values are 3 and negative 2. So let me draw a number line. And then lagyan natin siya ng ganito. So... Bear with me, you need to use this number line. And then I hope na maintindihan nyo yung lesson natin this day. So 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, and so on. So ngayon, yung ating critical values, which is 3 and negative 2, is sila yung maging palatandaan natin kung saan natin nahatiin yung, uh, yung ating number line into three, eco, into three regions. So, mag-draw lang ako dito ng isang ng broken lines starting from negative 2. Okay. And then for 3. Now, as you can see, nahati na yung ating number line into truly regions. Ngayon, ang next naman natin gagawin is to choose a specific number or a test point from each region. So dito, sa ating, sa region na to, sa region na to, I will be choosing negative 3 to represent the left part of the number line. Your x is equal to negative 3. And then for the middle region, this region, I will be choosing x is equal to 0. Siya kasi yung pinakamadaling gamitin. And then for the next one, I will be choosing x is equal to 4 para sa region na to. Okay. So ngayon, ang kailangan lang natin gawin is to use the original inequality, this one, pero much better if we're gonna use the factored form. And then, going on the inequality. So, let's try x minus 3 
times x plus 2 is, sabi dito, greater than 0. We're gonna use those test points, negative 3, 0, and 4, para malaman natin if it's a true statement or a false st statement. So if x is equal to negative 3, you have negative 3 minus 3. Pinalit, pinalit natin yung value ng x. And then negative 3 plus 2 is greater than 0. You have negative 3 minus 3. That will give you negative 6. And then the other one, negative 3 plus 2, that will give you negative 1. is greater than 0. And then simply multiply negative 6 and 1. Negative 6 and negative 1. That is positive 6. So tell me, is it true or false? Is 6 greater than 0? Yes. This statement is true. Okay? Next naman natin gagawin is to check the second test point, which is 0. Let me use this one. x minus 3. x plus 2 is greater than 0. So, substitute natin yung value ng x, which is 0. So, 0 minus 3. And then ito naman ay 0 plus 2 is greater than 0. So, 0 minus 3 is definitely negative 3. And this is 2. Then you can multiply negative 3 and positive 2. That will result to negative 6 is greater than 0. Ngayon, ang negative 6 ba natin is mas ay mas mataas kay 0 or greater than 0. Okay? So definitely, this statement is false. Okay? Now, let's move on to the thir third test point. We're going to use x minus 3. x plus 2 is greater than 0. And then your x is equal to 4. 4 minus 3 4 plus 2 is greater than 0. So you have 4 minus 3, which is 1. Then this is 6. Multiply them. 6 is greater than 0. Now, ang 6 by greater than 0? Yes. So check muna natin paano nagkamali ako. Ah. Ay, sorry. There's a wrong calculation here. This is 1. And this is 8, right? Greater than 0. And then 1 times 8 is 8. Ang tanong, ang statement ba na 8 is greater than 0 is greater than, is a true statement? Yes or no? Yes, kaya siya ay isang true statement. Ngayon, anong ibig sabihin if the statement is true or false? Kung sa region na to, ay naging true, Dito false, at dito ay true. Ngayon, yung mga region na merong true statement, automatic, yung mga values ng x that will satisfy this inequality or the original inequality are the possible values of x na meron tayo dapat. So, paano ba natin ipapakita sa graph yan? If you want to graph it. So, ganito tayo. Lagyan natin dito. From negative 2, ito ha, from negative 2 tayo ha. So, try nga natin. I will be using another color of ink. From negative 2, lakihan ko ng konti. From negative 2, papunta rito. Sa right side. Kahit na magpas pa yan dyan. Yan yung mga possible values ng x. Ang tanong, yung ating bang critical value na negative 2 is included, hindi po. As you can see, we are using here a greater than symbol. Hindi po siya, wala, wala po siyang equal sign sa ilalim. So, yung tatandaan nyo, ha? Kapag walang equal sign, automatic, that critical values are not included. So, gagamit tayo ngayon dito ng open circle. Because negative 2 is not included. And then, since false to, Ibig sabihin, wala ni isang value from the middle region na kasama sa ating solutions. Okay? So, let's move on to the other region. 
This is true. Therefore, mula rito, hanggang dito, are all the possible values of x that can satisfy the given inequality. And since in the included is 3, we will be using an open circle. Okay? So, yan yung representation ng ating solution in graphical method. What if kailangan natin ng curve annotation para natin i-represent yung answer natin or convert yung answer natin into interval notation. So, ganito lang kasimple yan. Since yung ating graph ay infinite, papunta sa right, sa left side, we will be using an open parenthesis. Yan kasi laging partner ng inf infinity. So, you have here parenthesis negative infinity because the numbers are infinite going to the left. And then, ilagay nyo dito yung inyong critical value, which is negative 2. And since negative 2 is not included, gagamit tayo ng parenthesis instead of bracket. And then, after this, union. So, punta naman tayo sa right side. Since, kung mapansin nyo, diba? Uh, 3 and then infinity. So, una natin nalagay, because 3 is not included, Parenthesis, 3, and then positive infinity, parenthesis. This is the interval notation of the given solution or yung mga values na meron tayo sa ating inequality. So I hope na natutunan yung lesson natin today about solving quadratic inequalities part 2. At sana ma-share nyo ito sa mga teachers sa mga classmates nyo or friends nyo that are taking grade 9 mathematics and that are taking this kind of topic, solving quadratic inequalities. And if natuto kayo sa ating lesson, please like, comment, and subscribe sa ating YouTube channel. I hope na ma-overcome natin itong pandemic na ito. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. God bless.